it's literally just so easy. Point and click. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we'll take that. I'm gonna start this video off by saying something that you probably already know. Golf is hard. And if there's anyone out there that says it isn't, they're lying. But I was thinking about it, there are ways where we can make this game slightly easier for ourselves. And I feel like today's golf club is a very good place to start. Oh, can't wait for this one. If Rory McIlroy and John Daly had a baby, what would it look like? That is what it would look like. Now, what would it look like if an iron and a hybrid had a baby? That is what they'd look like. Dashing. They are much bigger than I anticipated, but there's a reason for that. This is the exact iron that could make the game just that little bit easier for you. This is the 2022 Wilson Launchpad Iron. And the key really is in the name launch pad. Launch, we'll start with. Did someone say lunch? Launch in the air. Oh, I'm hungry too though. Yeah, I'm, I'm starving. There are many golfers out there, whether you want to admit it or not, that struggle to launch the ball in the air. This has got a lot of mass lower in the head. Help you get the ball in the air. And then finally, pad. I don't think you'll need a bigger one. Quite simply, if you're new to the game and want a bit of confidence, a bit of help, this is like a bicycle with stabilizers. The chances that you're gonna hit this fat or dig the iron in is a lot less with a club like this. Still gonna happen, still could happen, but definitely with a pad like that, not as often. So what do I expect to see in today's test? Um, explosive ball speeds, really high launch, and uh, we're not gonna dig the club into the floor. I will be taking these out on the golf course. If you want to see that, make sure you hit the thumbs up and also comment launch pad. What a funky little club, huh? It's like we've got this iron and then a little black insert at the back. I don't look at this and think, wow, there's some growth hanging off of the back of it, which is a great thing. I see because of the color differences, we've got this chrome anti-scratch surface of the launch pad iron section and then this extra insert at the back. Obviously when you look at it from here, it's different. I think it's been made very well. So it is, the, it is literally that stabilizer at the, at the side. It's a quite an interesting little sound and feel. It's not what you'd expect at all. You know what's quite interesting at the moment? I'm going to do a comparison with this against my blades. I think that'd be, for some reason, very interesting because when else would you compare the two? Two so different golf clubs head to head. It's a toe to toe I'm looking forward to. I feel a bit shanky with my blades. I don't see recent reviews. We've been a bit hosley, <laughs> a bit stuck. Not a glimmer of thinking I'm going to hosle rocket one of these. Why did you just say that? <laughs> Shaking like a sh dog. <laughs> no, nah. It's just, I don't know. Look, if you've got the shanks, I'm not saying this is going to fix it because there's still a hosel there and someone has clearly hit it. Not me. It's literally just so easy. So easy. Point and click. I do feel like that kid that's ice skating that's got that little push along snowman that stops you from falling over. But honestly, right now, I don't care. I'm not falling on my ass. Yeah. And you will be rewarded. Don't think you're gonna get don't think you're gonna get rewarded for bad shots still. They're still out there. If I was to fire one over there, it would still go over there. If I was to slice one, I'd still slice one. But it's just I think the majority of the time it favours you. It's on your side with a blade like, die. Not a glimmer of thinking I'm gonna hustle rocket one of these. Right. Let's pretend I say I'm gonna try and shank one. Yeah. I think it'd be worth trying to shank one just to see if you can. Play the video. As you can, as you can see, I demonstrated there, even though I look surprised that I shanked it, you can in fact shank it. Mission passed. Now they are my dimples. <laughs> Look, golf's hard. 
two swings that felt exactly the same, but they weren't, and you get two very different results. The toe-to-toe -to -toe comparison could literally be a hosel rocket off, which is the best performing iron out of the shank section. Right, let's have a look at these numbers. Good looking, whoever that is. Is he single? God, oh, crikey me. Anyway, we are, we are, we are, we are. We're gonna play a few holes with these virtually before we take these out on the golf course, because I'm very interested to do so. So, 137 ball, 17.7 degrees of launch, very consistent window of launch again. I do like that, and that's what you want to see, all height, high every time, not one here, not one here, not one here. 195 carry, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind we could get this out to 220, but that's not the point of this video. This is a very casual, for me to get this out of a blade, I'd have to really step on it. That was like a 70% swing to get that sort of output, which is very nice to see. Get this though, and this is what's gonna be very interesting with the comparison with the blade. That number right there is outstanding. This is like a, an iron hybrid fairway driver thing, right? So you'd expect it to be all ball, no spin. Wrong. 5,682 on average with a six iron. That is right up there. I am mightily, mightily impressed. Don't judge a book by its cover is the moral of the story here because that didn't perform how it looks. Look at that paddiness. So much paddiness. Right, let's get on with this. We're gonna play a couple of holes, just a couple. Get a bit warmed up in a coarse environment. See how it may react into a green. Um, I'm quite excited to do so, so let's go. This foot golf? Well, we're abandoning this. We're playing foot golf for the rest of the afternoon. Thanks. 376 par four starter. Interesting, so it's the fifth hardest hole on the course, of course, of course it is. And my only option is the six iron, but we're gonna have to get this out there. So this is the true test of this dance. The fairway is very narrow. Oh my. Look at the height on this though. So good to see. Yeah, it's like a 210 carry, rolled out to 221. Hit it easy. Bit right to left. How fast is it? I've got no idea. I'm better. <laughs> That's a give me that. Pass start. It's a lot longer than 130. Trust the yardage, guys. That's the one lesson I'd give you today. Trust it. Whatever it says on your device, forget what it looks like. Even though I want to do this flat out, I'm not going to. That's it then. Not bad, it just spins as well. Come on. the part, um, part five, let's have you. I'm gonna absolutely step. Just feels so airborne. What we got out of this? Okay. See now is what I mean by the potential of this thing. That's got 250 yards, it's downhill. It is. Right to that water. Don't draw, otherwise we're in trouble. Straight as an arrow, this. Oh, still a bit of a tiger line. Oh, judge to near perfection. Not what you'd expect, hey? 67 in. do with the pitching that a little bit short that came in steaming what you got for me slightly downhill hop hang out to the left <laughs> no <laughs> I've never hold a put on here before oh print it 
Print this. Print it out. We'll take that. <laughs> we will take that. Guys, what, a, what an incredible set of clubs. We've got so much more to do with these. Out on the course turf interaction, out on the course seeing how it reacts on the green, and then a comparison with the blades. I can't wait, I really can't. See you soon.